Haleluya. Amen. Usiruhusu jirani yako akae nyuma yako kama kuna kiti mbele yake. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Usiruhusu mtu akae kiti yako. Mwambie asonge katika hicho kiti. Tumekuja kusemezana asubuhi ya leo ama mchana wa leo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunataka sisi ni familia moja. Kwa hivyo tuna tunapaswa kukaa tukiwa Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. E, ni asubuhi leo njema tunamtukuza Mungu kwa sababu ameifanya hii siku tukaifurahie Bwana asifiwe Amen. na ametuwezesha ametuleta Bwana asifiwe Haujapatikana hapo kwa kibaya kibaya Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Amina. Mungu wako na sababu na wewe Wewe ndiyo ametaka ukue hapa mchana wa leo Bwana asifiwe Amen. Praise God Amen. Kwa hivyo ningependa kuchukua hii fursa kuchukualika mam Akuje atu, atukaribishie mnenaji wetu wa asubuhi ya leo. Karibu mamu. Tumpikia makofi anapokuja. Karibu sana. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ah sisi ni wengi sana. We are so many in this house. Ah tuko karibu kuja mpaka kule nyumba. Bwana asifiwe. Mwambie mwenzako unaona tuko karibu kuja mpaka nyuma. Kwa hivyo nataka tuka shout. Tu shout kwa sababu tuko wengi sana. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Shangiria Bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana wabariki sana tunaweza kuketi chini. Ah uh, na shukuru sana kwa sababu moja wenu wamekuja. Amen. Mwambie mwenzako karibu. Mwambie asante kwa kukuja. Mwambie wewe ni shujaa. Mwambie wengine wameenda sherehe. Lakini mimi niko kwa nyumba ya Mungu. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Ah uh, nachukua na uh, nafasi kushukuru Mungu wetu. Baba yetu wa biguni ambaye amekuwa mwaminifu. Jana tuna wakati mzuri sana na tuko lakini heri mwisho kuliko mwanzo. Si ni kweli? Kwa hivyo mwisho wa siku ya leo kutakuwa na mambo makubwa sana. Bwana atatutendea mambo hatujawaona. Amen. Uliona vile Mungu alifanya jana na tuliambiwa a prophecy of one is a prophecy of all. Jana kukawa na kubadilishana katika ulimwengu wa kiroho si ni kweli Sikulikuwa na hizo transactions za kubadilishana naamini ya kwamba ulielewa kile ambacho kilichukua kilifanyika katika maisha yako Subi ya leo nataka uh, tukashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya wachugaji uh, our reverend uh, Ekai we have uh, our reverend uh, Kamau bwana sio sana pastor Ekai ni wetu wa kule wangige we have reverend Kamau from Wemuto Let us appreciate the men of God in the house. Amen. You also have uh, the pastor's wives, uh, Mrs. Sekai, you have Mrs. Kamau, uh, uh, we have also uh, Mrs. Moigai, Bwana Sifiwe, now we have also Mrs. Pastor Mogwe, uh, our host. Let us appreciate them. Amen. Appreciate yourself also for coming. Amen. We have our dear mom there, Uh, she was with us last time and today ako pamoja nas you can imagine what will happen let us appreciate uh, reverend and na bwana atatubariki now this time ningetaka tusimame 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 sasa nataka tukaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu bwana asifiwe sana ningetaka tuka uh, reverend Kamau ndio anachukua this time amen Reverend Kamau ndio anakuja this time na najua tutabarikiwa amen. Ah uh, ningetaka as you nani anakaribisha wa Reverend no this mighty man of God God has given unto us in Nairobi North. Sema Nairobi North. Nairobi North. Where every one of us counts amen. Ah uh, kwa hivyo ningetaka tushangilie Bwana tunapokaribisha Reverend Kamau akaweze kuchukua microphone na kuendelea. Haleluya. 
Hallelujah. Uh, you know, this is my son. Amen. Na nikisema my son, na maanisha my son. Bwana sio sana. Megi itafuata mtajua ni kwa nini he yes, is my son. In another way, sisi ndio tuliwasimamia harusi those days. So nikisema it is our son. Hatuletagi just anybody kwa madhabahu haya. Amen. Tunaleta watu ambao tunajua wameamini nini na wameishia maisha ya aina gani. Karibu sana Reverend. I'm humbled and I'm happy to have you at this altar. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody appreciate God above our heads in Jesus name. Uh, we can have our seats in the presence of God. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. See you pati mwenzako a very nice high five in Jesus mighty name. Uh, nimekupa nafasi uh, umjue jina kama unaona ni mgeni kwako msalimie muulize jina yako tafadhali alafu haleluya uh, i take this opportunity to thank god mwenye amenipa neema ya kuja mahali hapa na mshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya hii nafasi ambayo nimepewa ili yakoba ni lete neno la bwana kwenu na naamini ya kwamba tutabarikiwa zote na watu tuseme amen Jambo la pili nataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya askofu wetu hata kama ametoka kidogo tunamshukuru Mungu vile vile kwa sababu ya neema ambayo Mungu amempa hata kueleza hii na Robinot. Thank you our dear mom asante sana kwa vile vile kunipa nafasi hiyo Mungu akubariki hakika ni kwamba kama venye amesema uh, mimi ni mtoto wake manake yeye die alisimamia alisimamia, alisimamia rusi yetu na hakika amekuwa baraka miaka kumi na sita inaelekea kumi na, kumi na saba amekuwa mama kwetu wa ajabu tumpigie makofi eh miaka kumi na saba amekuwa mama wa baraka sana na ameshikilia sisi na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya hilo jambo ni furaha yangu kusema ya kwamba na nyenyekea mbele za Mungu kuona nikihudumu uh, chini ya yake mam ukiwa hapo and our dear mom from uh, from uh, uh, bishop school yes praise let's appreciate our dear mom hata hawa ni wazazi wangu na kumbuka uh, sitawahi sahau kuna wakati nili tulikaribisha mchungaji wetu by then he was a mchungaji to us and even today he is our pastor uh, bishop kuri at our praise na akaja na akaguzwa na jabu fulani kwa kanisa letu and he cried literally sitawahi sahau alilia machozi ya ukweli and he prayed to god Manaka mahali tulikuwa kanyumba kalikuwa kakoduni sana and he cried literally akaomba Mungu na tulihama let's appreciate God for that Alilia machozi na kaomba Mungu ukumbuke hili jambo na kwa hivyo pia naye ni mzazi kwetu na kwa hivyo nanyenyekea kuna na hudumu mkiwa mmetulia uh, ni hudumu chini yenu bwana wabariki ni furaha yangu vile vile kwa appreciate uh, pastors in present uh, Reverend Ekai pamoja na wake wa wachugaji ambao mko hapa na viongozi andalizi ambao mliadaa huu mkutano Uh, tawaheshimu na tawadhamini sana kwa hili jambo vile vile wewe ambao umekuja washirika wetu na wageni wetu tunawadhamini sana mngekoja mngekoja mngekosa kufika mahali hapa sijui ingekuaje na kwa hivyo above everything jipigie makofi wewe ni wa maana na dhamana amen amen uh, timekeeper kaidere uh, uh, naomba uniangalilie masaa uh, aratmi 10 minutes before na itakuwa jambo nzuri na itakuwa tena ni ya baraka baba katika jina la Yesu naomba unitumie jinsi upendavyo nikaufikishe ujumbe wako bwana kama ulivyo ada wajua moyo wa kila mmoja aliye mahali hapa mimi ni chombo chako naomba unitumie mfalme ili yakoba moyo ulio hapa ukalivike na ukajue kusudio lako bwana nijaze na neema na jaze na nguvu na unijaze na kibari chako katika jina lako Yesu mwana wa Mungu naomba hata naposhukuru na watu wa Mungu tunasema amen 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 nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya asubuhi hii ninataka kuogea mambo machache and i would try i would try my level best to go right on line with our theme ili ya kwamba uh, tuwe pamoja lakini nitapenya hapa na pale venye Mungu atakavyokuwa amenisaidia Naamini ya kwamba nitakuwa nimebarikiwa pamoja na nyinyi. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Fugua pamoja na mi katika 1 Peter 2:9. Ile ambayo ni dhimu yetu. 
na naamini tutabarikiwa first peter chapter 2 uh, sio kama leo kuna mtu anafanya ya ziada kama wako niwekee nitashukuru wale ambao mnatutazama online bwana wa amani awabariki sana tuwashukuru kuwa pamoja na nyinyi yes niko na goje naona kama itafika okay first peter chapter 2 and verse verse 9 but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises say praise somebody say praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light open together with me again in the book of uh, genesis 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 29 Genesis 29 Genesis 29 If you are there you say amen Genesis 29:31 Genesis 29:31 And when if you say if you are there say amen Yeah. If, and when the Lord saw that Leah was hated it be the word again and when the Lord saw that Leah was hated he opened her womb but Rachel was but Rachel was barren and when the Lord saw that Leah was hated he opened her womb but Rachel was barren Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Nataka kunena kwa zile dakika ambazo nimepewa kuhusu a woman of prayer ama mwanamke ambaye ni wa maombi, mwanamke ambaye ni wa maombi, mwanamke ambaye ni wa maombi, na repeat that again ili ya kwamba try to connect yourself with me. Mtu ambaye ameitwa na Mungu na amechaguliwa kwa kusudi la Mungu. Hadithi ambayo tumeisoma ni hadithi nzuri sana na ni hadithi zile ambazo huwa tunasema ziko na mtiririko wake kwa maandiko. Ni neno ambalo limeandikwa kwa historia ambayo inahusu kila maisha ya mtu ambaye alikuwepo nyakati hizo na mtu ambaye ako sasa hivi na mtu ambaye ataishi hata baada ya kizazi chetu. Manake ni, uh, ni, ni neno ambalo linaguza ahadi ya Mungu ama kusudio la Mungu kutoka mwanzo wa ubaji wake. Neno la Bwana limesema tukianzia kidogo na hiyo Genesis ya kwamba Mungu alipo agaria na akaona ya kwamba Raeli amechukiwa, Rea amechukiwa, hakuwa anapendwa. Neno la Bwana linasema ya kwamba Mungu akafungua tumbo lake akamweka akamtia hali ya kuwa anaweza bemba kizazi chake naomba tafadhali sasa hivi unie ijapokuwa wakati tu unafanya kuandika kitu masaa ya mengine makinika kuniangalia ili ya kwamba tupatane pamoja na mtu aseme abige ime haleluya taishi nyakati ambazo kila mmoja wetu tumezaliwa ama tumejikuta tukiwa kwa hali ya udhaifu fulani fulani na wakati mwingine unakuta ya kwamba udhaifu ule ama unyonge ule sio wetu kujipendea unyonge mwingine tulizaliwa tukiwa nayo unyonge mwingine ulisababishwa ama ulisababika kabla tuzalibe na tulipofika kwa ulimwengu tukajipata na hiyo hali believe me ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu aliyemahali hapa ako na upungufu 
wa aina fulani kwa ajili yake. Kwa ni wale ambao wanapotembea utagudua ya kwamba mguu wao mmoja ni mfupi. Kuna wale ambao unapowatazama wakiangalia hakika daktari akakwambia ama wao wenyewe wakueleze jicho yao moja huwa haioni bahari. Kuna wale ambao wakiogea watakueleza ya kwamba mimi huwa sisikizi vizuri na hii side huwa nategemea hii sikio ndio iliyo na nguvu. Kila mmoja wetu tumejipata ama huwa tuwajipata kwa upungufu fulani bwana yesu napewe sifa kuna yule ambaye kwao ndiye tajiri sana na mpaka wa leo anaishi nyumba ya kukomboa you can try to imagine how wengine wako na bila gani kuna wale ambao unakuta ya kwamba yeye aliye hapa ndiye amesoma sana na labda alifika standard 7 na yeye kwao ndiye ameongoza kwa masomo you can try to imagine kwao hao wengine wako na namna gani kuna wale ambao kutoka kizazi baada ya kizazi hawana shaba wameishi kwa unyonge fulani people know them and they normally, they normally unrise them with their weaknesses watu wanawatangaza hata wakiulizwa wanawatangaza kuligana na unyonge wao let me tell you about my story uh, briefly kidogo kwetu nyumbani sisi tulikuwa masikini na tulikuwa masikini kiasi ya kwamba hata maskini wa area wangeulizwa wapeane majina ya wale ambao ni maskini eh, not that na wao ni maskini walikuwa wanapeana majina ya kwetu nataka uone vile tulivyokuwa wangeulizwa watu waliolalukiwa wangepeana sisi ili hali hata wao wamelalukiwa lakini wanajua waliolalukiwa zaidi ni kwa kina fulani wakiaulizwa wale ambao mimi nimezaliwa nyakati ambazo tulikuwa gua ikiraluka inawekwa kipanch inayokuwa inayokuwa a, a, a punch on side na tulikuwa tunawekewa mpaka unaangalia gua unashidwa ni ya karagani maana nimewekewa yellow nimewekewa ya green nimewekewa ya blue alafu uzi ni ya green hivyo hivyo unakuta kwamba hata tukitebea yenyewe hata masikini wengine wanaona hii hata kama sisi ni masikini ya hawa imezidi na tulikuwa tunakuwa unrised in a way that wakeulizwa walikuwa wanataja unyonge wetu but i really thank god yakoba kunaye mungu ambaye kuanzia mwanzo alituchagua somebody say amen neno la bwana nasema ya kwamba Lea alikuwa amechukiwa Aha. na Mungu alikuwa anaona. Kuna ye Mungu alikuwa anaona kwamba Lea amechukiwa. Bwana Yesu napewe sifa. Mungu akaona ya kwamba Lea amechukiwa. Tunajua hiyo historia nimesema iko na mtiririko wa ajabu. Maana imeanzia kwa Yakobo kubarikiwa baada ya Yakobo kubarikiwa pakao na vita kati yake na dugu yake na ikamlazimu basi atoroshwe atoke kwao aende kwa anko yake ambaye ni Laban kufika kwa anko yake Laban Laban akamfanya mtumwa lakini akamwambia kwamba sitakufanya mtumwa tu hivyo nikioomba uniambie utakachokitaka baada ya utumishi wako basi naye akamwambia mimi nikioomba unipe recho manake nimempenda akafanyia a, miaka saba kazi baada ya kufanyia miaka saba siku ya jioni hiyo badala apatiwe aliyempendeza neno la Bwana nasema ya kwamba akapatiwa leha na kwa mkia asubuhi akagundua ya kwamba hakupewa anayefaa kupewa na chukizo ikaanzia kwa Yakobo na mkewe mahali hapo lakini nataka uone ya kwamba hakumchukia tu hivyo hivyo alijipata hata anachukiwa kwao why the bible says lea alikuwa amezaliwa akiwa na shida ya macho muangalie mwenzake muambie kila mtu anakuanga na shida zake na ndio paolo aliambia timotheo let nobody despise you can i repeat that again allow nobody to despise you for there is god in heaven kunaye mungu aliyejibu mbinguni na hata alikuona ukiumbika alikuona ukizaliwa anajua udhaifu wako but in every weakness his power is always manifested hallelujah nguvu za mungu zinakuanga tayari fully packed somewhere ili ya kwamba zikuwe established ama ziachiliwe kwa mtu aliye na unyonge now here comes a, a sister ambaye amedharauliwa kwao amedharauliwa mahali ameozwa amedharauliwa amechukiwa na hii chuki inatokana na macho yake kuna wale leo wanakuchukia 
maana wewe ni wa single ama wewe ni single mother kuna wale leo wanakuchukia maana ulizaliwa na single mother kuna wale leo wanakuchukia maana wewe ni wa hii kabila kuna wale leo wanakuchukia maana wewe ni wa hii kanisa hata wengine kwetu nyumbani wanatuchukia maana tulichagua kuokoka na kuingia kwa kanisa ya kiroho wacha waendelee na chuki nasema wacha waendelee na chuki kunaye Mungu anayejua kuyanyamazisha kunaye Mungu anayejua anakupeana fefa haleluya give your neighbor high five muambie fefa haleluya and god akaona ya kwamba lea anachukiwa and god had a plan with that lady leo nataka kuzungumzia watu ambao wako hapa na wanasema mchungaji ni kama unaninenea ni kama unazungumza kunihusu mimi nyumbani huwa my laws huwa hawaniongeleshi mimi nyumbani baba mzazi huwa haniongeleshi mama mungu mzazi ananichukia kwa sababu hawa wengine wako labda na pesa na mimi sina wanamsaidia na mimi sina leo niko hapa nizungumuze na nafsi yako na naamini kwamba kabla tokee kwa mlango roho yako itakuwa imeinuliwa ujue kuna Mungu anayechagua wale wanaodharauliwa wale wanaochukiwa haleluya si kupenda kwako labda ukiwa shule si kupenda kwako ungetamani sana masomo ya kuingie ama uingiwe na masomo lakini venye ulivyoubwa masomo ilikuwa inatereza si kupenda kwako uzaliwe mungu mmoja ikiwa fupi hata si kupenda kwako hakuna aliyetuma application akuwa masikini am i speaking to somebody hakuna aliyetuma application somewhere akuwa na diabetes hakuna aliyetuma application somewhere akuwe hajiwe zi ni hali na situation tulijipata ndani mwake lakini nataka kuongelesha mtu aliye mahali hapa don't give up don't give up don't give up usive moyo haleluya before i finish up nitakuwa nimejenga roho yako kujua jinsi ya kuovakama such a kind of weakness or such a kind of deficiency ambazo huwa tunajipata nazo leo amechukiwa na biblia imesema ya kwamba hata mumewe alipomwangalia the first thing alienda kwa inuro yake abaye ni rabani akamuuliza ulinifanyia kitendo gani na yeye akamjibu akamwambia si kawaida yetu watu peani msichana wa pili kama wa kwanza hajaozwa na kwa hivyo itakulazimu ukae naye vyenye alivyo lakini ufanyie kazi miaka ingine saba ndio nikupe unayemtaka and the bible says huyu danda lea akajua amechukiwa mimi nataka kuzungumza ya watu ambao wako hapa today we are going to pray and we are going to raise our standard to raise our levels of prayer beyond what we call verbal communication with god tuinue maombi yetu ipite kiwango ya kuomba na maneno ile roho yetu inaweza jielekeza kwa Mungu anayeona sirini anayeona mioyo ya watu alimwambia Samuari mimi huwa sitazami nje siangalie maumbile ya nje give your neighbor high five ingekuwa Mungu wetu anatazamanga maumbile ya nje wengine wetu hatungesaidika angalia vyenye nimeona asubuhi ya leo hello tatia neba mwambie mchungaji ameona Imagine kama gungu angekuwa anachagua wale ambao wako na mili kubwa. Mimi sikepatikana. Am I speaking to somebody? Angekuwa anaangalia watu wenye wako extremely brown. Mimi sikechaguliwa. Angekuwa anachagua watu walio tall and black. Had some tall and black, you know. Ah, mimi sikechaguliwa. Lakini yeye ni nani? Haangali da nje. Anaangalia ndani. Nataka kunenea moyo wa mtu aliye mahali hapa. Wewe kuna nafasi yako mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Na kama hajasema hapana, bado ina remain he is on the way coming. Na akifika atawanyamazisha. It doesn't matter how long you be hated. It doesn't matter how long you be hated. It doesn't matter how many times they try to push you out. They might try to push you out, but God has pushed you in. They might push you out. Wakuweke mahali Mungu anataka uwe. Now, here comes even the husband. Even the husband. Na ni dewani ya harusi amechukia mke. Nataka uone huyo mwanamke venye atakavyo na nashukuru Mungu mkutano wa leo ni wanawake. Hakuna kitu kinavujaga moyo. Unajua sisi wanaume huwa mamu tunajitia moyo kiasi. Kuna venye watu tunajitia moyo. Lakini hakuna kitu kibaya kama mwanamke akidharauliwa. 
Nasikia amedharauliwa na watu wao, amedharauliwa na bwanake, amedharauliwa na mama yake. Muamu unajisikia umeisha na nitaka kuonyesha wanawake wengine kwa Biblia hii ya leo ambao walidharauliwa lakini kukawa kuna Mungu wa wanawake walio dharauliwa. Haleluya. Amedharauliwa from day one. Naye Mungu ni nani? The Bible says hiyo hiyo wakati Mungu akampatia mtoto wa kwanza. Haleluya. Sasa yeye anadharauliwa mume ako very busy kufanya kazi ili ya kwamba apatiwe mke anayemtaka naye Mungu ni nani akanyanyua huyo mwanamke akavungua miba yake kwa kuona amechukiwa naomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanapoendelea kukudharau wanapoendelea kukufinyiria wanapokukuona haufai naye Jehova anayependa wanaodharauliwa na watu afungue mimba ya maisha yako hata kama sio mimba ya kikawaida afungue mimba ikiwa haukusoma wanakudharau maana haukusoma lakini ikifika kwa pesa na biashara Jehova afungue mlango wa biashara wanakudharau maana haukusoma lakini ikifika kwa neema Jehova afungue mlango wa neema wanakudharau maana hauna chochote lakini naomba Mungu wa mbinguni aachilie neema kwa yule aliyedharauliwa haleluya the bible says akapewa Ruben Mungu na mke anataka kuona uone vinyana navyo jikaza anajikaza apendeke lakini apendezi Bibi anasema kwamba alipopewa Ruben akasema ah leo nafurahia maana mimi mama wangu atanipenda leo kwa sababu nishamzalia mtoto alizaa hivyo mara bila na tatu na bado upendo haupatikani lakini nataka uone moyo wa huyu mama every time listen to me somebody every time anapodharauliwa Hakuwa anajinyonga, hakuwa anatoroka, usimuache Mungu maana mujiza wako hujatendeka. Usitoke kanisa maana hukuna mtu wa kukuoa. Am I speaking to somebody? Haleluya. Usimuache Mungu kwa sababu unaona ni kama kile unachotaka bado hakijakuja. Kwanza run to appreciate God the way you are. One, you are not in the grave. You are not in the mortuary. Hallelujah. You are not in the hospital. Wewe mwanamke anazawa kwanza anasema ya kwamba nangangana ni kimsalia wa pili nitapendwa. Lakini hapendwi watatu na wengine hapendwi. Lakini kuna kitu mmoja ningetaka urun from this woman. Despite anadharauliwa, despite anachukiwa, there is a what we call silent prayer in the heart of this woman. There was a there you need a silent prayer. You know sometimes we now it is good na ni vyema vinyo watu napenda kuoba verbally. Maneno maombi ambao ni verbal. Maneno tunatamka maneno sometimes ni nzuri. But this lady nimekuwa nikimsoma pole pole na nikaona she had hakuna mahali bibi anasema ya kwamba alikuwa naomba. But there was such a silent prayer within the heart of that woman. That silent prayer is always powerful before the eyes of the law haleluya hiyo ombi ya huko ndani inakuanga na nguvu sana machoni mwa Mungu mara ya kwanza tunamuona akitamani amechukiwa lakini alipopewa mtoto wa kwanza hivi yeye alivyoongea ili thibitisha ilikuwa ni maombi yake ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo hapa kuwe na wanawake ambao hawatawahi kufa moyo ambao hawatawahi kufa moyo there will be always a silent prayer hata kama wengine hawaoni ukiomba maintain such a silent prayer within your heart keep on moving keep on going hallelujah ni kweli my father in law hanipendi my mother in law hawanipendi but one day i will rise one day i will shine hallelujah i will continue increasing nitazidi kuongezeka hata kama sipendwi maana ulimwangu unaweza kuwa unanichukia watu wako wananichukia lakini bibu niko sawa nayo haleluya niko sawa na ufalme wa biguni niko sawa na Mungu ninaye muamini haleluya hata alipompata juda bibi anasema yakoba akasema ah now i will praise the lord alipopata dana akasema i will praise the lord
Hallelujah. Somebody uh, open to me uh, together with me in the book of First Samuel. First Samuel. Nataka tuone mwanamke mwingine ambaye hakuwa vile vile anape hako na kuna mahali alikuwa na upungufu wake lakini neno la Bwana anasema yakomba Mungu na yeye ni Mungu akamkumbuka. First Samuel chapter 1 uh if you are there for me in verse 10 Mtu akifika hapo bere aseme amina aha and she was in bitterness of her soul and prayed unto the lord and wept so bwana yesu apewe sifa somebody say amen nataka kuongea kuhusu vile vile danda ambaye anaitwa hana ambaye pia alikuwa dada wa ombi ombi ambao limepita maneno ya kuzungumza ombi ambayo ilielekezwa na moyo wake kwa Mungu na maisha yake ikawa ni maisha iliyo tofauti now the bible says hana kama mnavyomjua walikuwa wameolewa pamoja na mke mwenza Penina na Elkana na neno la Bwana nasema kwamba hana alikuwa amefungwa tumbo lake na Mungu nimekwambia kwamba tukianzia ibada ya leo ama nikianza kuna hali ambapo situations ambazo huwa tunakuwa nazo na they are oriented ama zilianzilishwa na Mungu Mungu anazijua can i hear amen from somebody kuna hali ambazo huwa tunakaa nazo na Mungu anazielewa hakuna jambo huwa linatoka nyuma ya Mungu Mungu huwa anaelewa every aspect of our life. Na unakuta ya kwamba many a times saa zingine tunavujikanga moyo kwa mambo ambayo huwa yanasababishwa na watu kwetu na hata tunaendelea kuvujika moyo na mambo ambayo yalianzilishwa na Mungu. Kila aina ya udhaifu ambayo ulianzilishwa na Mungu yeye anajuanga njia ya kuutatua. Yeye anajua atautatua lini. Na ndio Bwana anasema na Bwana anasema kwamba kila jambo na wakati wake. Can I hear amen? Kila jambo na wakati wake. Kuna mtu mmoja aliyeletwa mbele za Yesu na wakamuuliza Yesu, "Bwana huyu alizaliwa namna hivi? Hili jambo bwana limekuja." Na Yesu akaongea akasema ya kwamba, "Hili jambo halijikwanyu ama halijakuja kwenu ili liwaletee aibu hata wakati wa Lazarus." ili iwarete aibu lakini lipo liletee Mungu utukufu haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe kuna wale ambao wanakuwa na upungufu fulani wa hali ya kuzaliwa somehow ilianzilisha ama ilijanzilisha ilijanzilisha kutoka kuzaliwa na unakuta ya kwamba hilo jambo huwa inatumiwa na shetani kutuvuja moyo every time Shetani anazungumza anazungumzia hiyo weakness ili akoba akudunishe I remember one time mama mmoja baye tulikuwa tunamjua alikaa miaka karibu 37 ameolewa akate over 10 years kwa kwa marriage na hajapata mtoto na every time wale walikuwa wanazuhudia hata wa, hata wengine watu ambao wanawajua wakiambiwa salimiane kitu ya kwanza akiogea anataja watoto wake na anaangalia huyo mama na anasema kwamba nimebarikiwa maana mimi niko na watoto mnavyowaona watano wa sita wa saba nimezaa kuzaa na najua wakoba wengine ambao hawana lakini mimi nimebarikiwa hii hata wana, wanazungumza yale mazungumzo ili ya kwamba wamvuje moyo huyo mama ninamjua vizuri na every time alikuwa watu wakizungumza hivyo unaona ameinama ametoa machozi yake that tears ama hiyo mazugu ma, machozi yake ilikuwa ni mazungumzo ya jambo anamwambia Mungu huko ndani mwake haleluya anamwambia Mungu angalia Mungu kuna wana walikosa watoto maana waliwaua ama walifanya abortion lakini mimi bwana nimekuwa mtakatifu kutoka utotoni wangu na mpaka wa leo Jehovah ninakugoja unajua sababu huyu umempatia watoto lakini mimi haujanipa anajitia nguvu and one day kwa neema ya Mungu akapata mimba hata watu wakazungumza kama ilivyo kuwa desturi yao tunajua sio mimba tunajua ni kufura tunajua ni nini wanajaribu kumvuja moyo every time lazima wagogea mambo ya kumvuja moyo na ongeresha mtu aliye mahali hapa any other communication inaweza kuwa ni ya kukuvuja moyo run to connect yourself with heaven jifunze 
kuconnect yourself kusikiza sauti ya biguni haleluya walimwambia Batimaya akamwambia nyamaza nyamaza haupai kuogea lakini yari alizidi kuogea akitupa sauti yake kwa Yesu na the moment about waliambiwa aliambiwa akuche neno hapo nasema ya kwamba walimwambia amuka maana anakuita wale wote ambao wamekuwa wanakudharau na kukunyamazisha kwa sababu ya upungufu fulani one day they shall praise the lord with you now here comes hana na hana naye every time nataka uone madharau yenye anayofanyiwa wakienda kutoa dhabihu zao ni kama hapa penye wao tunaleta sadaka unakuta ya kwamba mke mwenza bani penina lazima angekuja na watoto wake na lazima angemwangalia kwanza hello bwana yesu apewe sifa bwana yesu asifiwe ito mchango mahali fulani lazima kwanza wakoangalie maana yake anajua wewe haunanga chochote nakumbuka huko nyumbani kwetu hata kuna wakati tulikuwa tukienda mahali kuna jambo kama kumefiwa mtu unakuta kwamba kuna julikana watoto wa nyumba ya fulani nyumba yetu sasa unasikia hata tumatumaniwa waitwe maana yake tunajulikana hatunanga pesa za kutoa maombolezi kazi yetu ni kufieka are together twende tuvieke fence kazi yetu ni ya kuweka tent na sisi ndio tutakai hiyo hata wanaongea nasema kwa ah fulani nyumba ya fulani ndio inajulikana inajua kuweka hema vizuri sana huwa wanaandaa mahali kulio na maombolezi tulikuwa tunojulikana hivyo siku ya kutengeneza shimo ni sisi vile vile tunaitoa kwanza mimi ndio nilikuwa ninaangukia pabaya sana maana nilikuwa mtu wa bidii kila jambo kama ni mahali mtu amekufa tafuteni kamau kamau ni mzuri sana kwa kuweka hema si kwa hapa nilisomea kuweka hema ni vyenye hali wanajua kwamba si i cannot contribute anything else na maana yale mambo mazito mnaoniona mwili nilivyo si viazi sasa ninapewa ile ambayo ninaweza wanatudharau kiasi kile tukienda mahali nakuta ya kwamba mamangu anahesabiwa kwa vyombo fulani muandike basi yeye atakaye osha vyombo mtu fulani na fulani tukiangalia mamangu tunamwambia siku moja ipo siku itakapofika tayari yo neighbor ipo siku itakapofika haleluya siku ya leo mamangu hawezi osha haleluya na akienda maombolezi huwa anachukua simu anapiga anasema siku fulani naenda maombolezi mahali fulani nyinyi watoto mjitayarishe atakaye kuja kunipeleka tunamuigiza kwa gari tunaisimamisha nje na anakuwa na giri yake ya kutoa maana kuna ye Mungu wa wale wanaodharauliwa na ipo siku yake ya kujidhihirisha Hanadia huyo wakija kutoa dhabihu wanafika hapa. Na Bwana anasema kwamba basi hata mumewe anampatia mara mbili. Namba mke wangu nakupenda sana shika hii mara mbili uende utoe. Lakini ana hatosheleki, hatosheleki na hiyo hali ya tuseme kama hongo. Hiyo hongo ya mumewe ya kuambiwa kwamba nenda utoe bili ndio ujisikie ni kama umeridhika. Let me tell you brethren, ninaomba Mungu ainue mioyo yetu. Kama ule muujiza tunaotaka haujatendeka, hata kuje jambo gani, mioyo yetu isitoe keko lengo letu. Narudia kwa mtu aliye mahali hapa. Kama uko hapa na kuna muujiza umekuwa ukigoja kwa Mungu, labda unaona imefika 35 na hujaolewa, don't go away. Usi toroke kunaye Mungu anayepeana waume hata wakiwa vote na kama haunielewi kile nasema hata Sara alizaa kwa mume wake wakiwa na miaka karibu mia. somebody appreciate god kunaye Mungu ambaye haangalii miaka anaangalia roho ya mtu anayemgoja oh, anadia huyu anakuja anatoa and one day the bible says this lady alikuwa na hiyo what we call a silent prayer moyo wake uko ndani hautoki lakini Mungu anaona moyo wake. Biblia inasema kwamba siku moja wakaja wakatoa lakini akaamua na leo mimi siendi nyumbani. Mwadha ni agosho. Leo ni leo siendi nyumbani. Akabaki hapo akaanza kumuridia Mungu. Wacha aliitie jina la Bwana. Akaitia Bwana akaridia Mungu. Akatoa maneno Biblia inasema kwamba mpaka maneno ikaisha. Mimi namuona namuona mke mwenza baye ni Penina. Amekaa kando. Kazi yake ni kucheka tu anacheka hata uombe. Tunajua wewe ni tasa. Hallelujah. Tunajua wewe hauwezi pata. Kuna watu ambao wanazungumzanga hivyo. Every time wakikuona wanajua hautawahi inuka. Wanajua mahali bali sana unaweza enda ni kutoka Gedhorai hadi Nairobi. Hauwezi enda zaidi hapo. Ninawanenea katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hakuna kiti ya dega inakuwaga imeandikwa majina yao. Kiti ya dega inakuwaga open to anybody. Hata wewe unaweza pata visa na uendene ngambo in Jesus mighty name. Kunaye Mungu ambaye hachelewi anakujaga kwa wakati unaofaa. Na hako jiani hajakusahau. 
endelea kuzingatia moyo wako ndani ya Bwana. Kana akaanza kuridia Mungu. Naangalia Saidia naona mume wake anamwambia, "Mke wako na wako nakupenda. Nimekupa maradufu, mbona hautosheki?" Naye mama anasema ya kwamba mimi siwezi tosheka mpaka nione Mungu ameniondolea hii kuchukiwa nimechukiwa. Haleluya. Mpaka nione Mungu ametenda jambo at least anyamazishe maadui zangu. Na neno Bwana anasema kwamba akaomba mpaka maneno ikaisha. Maneno ilipoisha nataka tufikie yale kile nilikwambia silent prayer. Maneno ilipoisha akawa sasa hazungumzi hakuna kitu anatoa ni machozi peke yake na mdomo unaonekana ukifanya hivi. Unajua sasa zingine mambo mengine huwa hayazaliwi kwa man- pia kulipuka kuna miujiza ambayo huwa inazaliwa azali zote ya maombi ambayo haiwezi elezeka kwa wanadamu na ndio biblia inasema ya kwamba kwa kuona hatukupewa roho wa uoga tulipewa roho mtakatifu wa Mungu anayetuombea kwa kuugua kuku give your neighbor high five anakuombea kwa maneno yasiyoeleweka kwa wanadamu hiyo ndio maneno huuza Mungu aishie milele Sisemi yakoba tusiombe na sauti lakini let me tell you kama haujawahi fika mahali unaomba maneno haitoki ni kiuchungu tu kinalipuka huko ndani mwake unasikia tu ndani uchungu unainuka machozi inajitoa it is only your heart now communicating to your god basi kuna mahali haujawahi fika kuna wengine washaifika mahali kama hapo maneno imeisha ni, ne, ni moyo tu unajiinua ukijielekeza kwa Mungu hana akafika hiyo kiwango mdomo tu unafanya namna hivi machozi inajitoa mke mwanza ni kumcheka hawaoni hata mumewe haoni maana mumewe alimwambia Bona unalia haujui ya kwamba mimi ni zaidi ya vijana waliozaliwa na mwanamke kumi. ni zaidi ya vijana mke anasema mimi sitosheki na hiyo na ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo maisha yako isitoshereke na kitu kidogo kidogo ambacho hakiridhishi moyo wako eh nitarudia hiyo tena ninaomba Mungu ainue mioyo yetu isiridhike na tuvitu tudogo tudogo ambapo haturidhishi mioyo yetu mshahara wa elfu mbili kwa mwezi na huwezi ukakutosha inuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo elekeza maombi ambayo haieleweki kwa wanadamu ni Mungu tu anaelewa moyo wako haleluya bwana Yesu pewe sifa lazima tufike kiango kile basi akaulizwa hata na kuhani mama Inaonekana leo umelewa mapema sana mama. Hata umekuja kahekaroni kama umelewa. I think those days, old red days, manake those days old red days walikuwa wanalewa kiasi. Basi alikuwa amefika hata miaka ya kuonekana amezeeka na ndio amekunywa pombe ili alijaribu kutuliza uchungu wa moyo wake. Akaambia basi naona mama umelewa mapema sana wewe. Akasema sio hivyo, naomba unisikize haya maneno. Mwa bwana yangu ama kuhani wangu, si yati ni kulewa nimelewa. Allah ni uchungu wa moyo wangu na uelekeza kwa Mungu. Maneno imeisha lakini uchungu na uelekeza kwa Mungu aishie milele. Huyu mama alikuwa anajua vyenye anavyodhiakiwa na mke mwenza, vyenye anavyodharauliwa na watu. Ihari mume wake anampenda lakini hakuwa ametosheka. Akaamua kwa moyo wake sitakoma, sitanyamaza, sitatulia hadi uchungu wa moyo wangu mfikie Mungu naomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tusitosheke na tumambo tudogo tutishoteke na hali vyenye ilivyo tuinue mioyo yetu hadi bingu itende jambo tuko na wakristiano na wadeza ambao wanaridhika na mambo madogo sana unakuta mtu basi ameajiriwa na mimi sina vita na mtu yeyote ameajiriwa na muhiki na nakwambia vizuri sana mchungaji huko sijakaa sana niko na miaka 20 na muhidi aliyeanza kunilipa mshahara wa 1500 lakini saa hii nashukuru Mungu ameniongeza imefika 1700 2024 na akona watoto akona nyumba analipa haishi kwa kera akona nyumba analipa na akona maisha bayo anafaa songeshe unamwangalia unamuuliza miaka hiyo unaniambia miaka 20 umekuwa kwa muhidi haujawahi sikia uchungu listen to me Mungu I amini mean, Isaka alimwambia mtotoe alimwambia kwamba enenda sawa akamwambia en- na utakapochokeshwa na the yoke of your brother yenye yuko mabegani mwako utakapochoka ndipo itakapokuondokea mwambie mwanzako chokeshwa na tumambo tudogo tudogo eh tikiza mwanzako mwambie chokeshwa na tumambo 
unakuta kwamba kifungo kiroho mtu amefungwa na muhidi miaka 20 mshahara ni 1700 na ametosheka haoni bere na haoni haoni anaona tu mahali alipo naomba Mungu na atusaidie sana unakuta kwamba hana alikataa hata kama ninapewa dabo hii dabo haiwezi kuwa mtoto somebody listen to me hii dabo haiwezi kuwa mtoto na hiyo 1700 haiwezi nunua shaba hiyo 1700 haiwezi kukupatia maisha Kunaye Mungu wa biguni anayepeana kazi nzuri. Kama amewapa wengine hata wewe ni wake. Kinakuta kwamba tumetosheka. Tumetosheka. Mtu mmoja alinifurahisha wakati mmoja aliniambia kwamba mahali alikuwa amemejenga nikama kaploti hivi na wamejenga fadha, amini wazazi wao, brother zake na akaolewa mahali hapo mama. Alipoolewa, yani ukitoka kwa mlango Saidi hii ni kwa brother ule mkubwa. Pande hii ingine ni kwa mother in law. Ukienda kumwaga maji, mother in law anakuamkia. Ndugu mkubwa anakuamkia. Na siku moja akaamua, manake walikuwa wao wanaweza tupa manake yeye alikuwa katikati watupa hapo kwake. Kazi yake ni kufagia. Yaani amechaji tolea kufagia nje ile maugali imebaki wanatupa hapo. Yeye kazi yake ni kufagia manake alikuwa mlango wake. Siku moja akasikia ameudhika. Na kama hiki kilio nikifagia hii mabaki ya ugali hapa hii madharau nikifagia manake wameshanizoea na wakitoka wanamwambia manake wewe hauendagi kazi basi wewe ndio utakaye tuanulia yani sikiza madharau wewe ndio utakaye tuanulia nguo na watoto wakicha tunakuachia fungu wewe ndio utakaye wafungulia manyumba na wahakishie tv na wapatia garao kachai manake wewe hauendagi kazi hiyo ilikuwa jambo la chukizo na la madharau kwa umama siku moja akaamua Hari haitakuwa hari tena lazima nibadilishe maisha yangu every time wakimwachia funguo say send to me wakimwachia funguo alikuwa anashishika na enda bedroom anapiga magoti na mwambia bwana ninakushukuru Mungu maana mimi hufunga mlango na funguo moja lakini hizi funguo nimepewa ninaziamurisha katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba zifu sikue funguo zangu za rumu kadhaa kwa nyumba yangu every time aliamua ku change the situation wanaifanya ya madharao lakini Mungu ana, ana, anaifanya yeye anaifanya kwa Mungu yekoba ni kama baraka kwake listen to me akaendelea hivyo and for five good years that was the prayer hata mume wake hajui kile anaombea wameniachia funguo na ziamulisha kwamba hizi zitakuwa funguo za milango ya nyumba yangu. Anatoka hapo anakuja anamwambia mama tunakuachia watoto wakija uwape chakula. Na yeye anasema kwamba Mungu nakushukuru kwa maana katika kwa hawa watoto ninakuamini utanibarikia niwe baraka kwa watoto wengine. Listen to me right now as we are talking that lady alikuwa anaamka ni mtu najua kabisa akiemaliza hiyo kazi anaenda kanisani maombi na alikuwa amechukua jukumu maana hana kazi nyingine was a housewife kazi yake ilikuwa ni maombi 24/7 akitafuta kazi as we are talking ukija kwa tu wagie wow, that lady as we are talking ni moja kati ya wale wamebarikiwa wagie maana ako na shule yake na nilienda juzi nikaona iko na watoto 800 Listen to me. Kuachiwa watoto wa hawa watu hawa aina watano iliza kwa uchungu maombi iliyoleta watoto 800. Today that lady is driving anaishi nyumba yake na shule ni yake amejenga. Usijidharau na ukuve moyo na usitoshereke na tujabu tudogo. Renga moyo wako kwa Mungu anayeona kidini cha mioyo elekeza uchungu wako kwake. Kuna watu ambao ni wazuri sana kwa kuelekeza vilio vyao kwa watu. Ha mkaongea naye huko hata natoa machozi. Machozi ya wanadamu ukiwaelekeza, ukimwelekeza machozi yako kwa wanadamu, watakuba suluhu ya saa hii. Lakini hawana suluhu ya kesho. Ninaomba Mungu akupate suluhu hapo ni permanent. Huyu mke ambaye ni hana akaamua mimi, mimi sitakubali hii maneno ya kupeangwa double double hii. Hii double portion hii ya sadaka mara mbili kama mke mwenza amepewa giri na pewa bili, kutoa giri bili kwa madhabahu haitawahi nibadilisha. Lakini kupata mwana Aha kupata mwana hata kama ni mmoja naamini hata sitaogea tena adi yangu atakuwa amenyamaza na ajue aliyemuumba ndiye aliyeniumba unajua kuna watu ambao wanafikiria shida yako venye ilivyo wanajisisi ya kwamba wao wa Mungu sana juzi mwingine ndugu mwingine alinipigia simu akaniambia pastor you need to come over to america na naongea kizungu na tumetoka na yeye hapa kwangu hapa 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 juzi na tunaongea garukuyu ile mpaka ile ya ndani lakini kidogo tu ameshuka america sasa hivi anataka kunitisha akamwambia pastor you need to come over to america kwa sababu hapa ndio Mungu anaishi sikiza 
Hapa dio Mungu hako ni kuanga ya ikala ga America. Kenya gotire ngai. Ga America dio Mungu anaishi Kenya hakuna Mungu. Nikamwambia ah na ulikufanyi kaji ukazaliwa Kenya na ukawa na uhai Kenya kama kuna Mungu anambia na madharau ukija huko America ndio utakapojua ya kwamba America dio kuna Mungu. Akaniambia pastor unaona kama Kenya unaweza kosa. Sasa hiyo naongea hivyo kuna mahali tulikuwa tumekaa na another friend of mine tunakula kanyama. Akaniambia pastor unaona Kenya usipokula ugali, ugali na sukuma. Hauwezi pata nyama. Kenya hauwezi pata nyama. Sasa nasikia kauchungu kana pada kimoyo moyo huko kana pada. Anambia pastor huku huko America nikitaka ili kumi nikitaka 100000 yani pesa na tebea na anaambia wacha nikupigie video uone na yaka video anatoa hivi madola madola hivi hata zingine sijui kwa sababu ni ngapi anaziwekea hapo anaambia unaona hizi ni mfuko mmoja anatoa hiyo nyingine alikuwa ananiambia lakini wewe vumilia Kenya maana mimi naona maisha yako imeregwa utakaa Kenya miaka yote nikamwambia wait a minute wait tell your neighbor wait a minute unajua kuna situation ambazo zitakuja kwa maisha kwanza useme goja kido Goja kidogo haleluya says who kwani yeye ni Mungu Mungu aliyemtoa Kenya dia yako na uweza wa kunitoa Kenya anipeleke as we are talking saa hii anatembea mguu hapa Kenya si America anatembea mguu kwenda soko na kurudi what happened i don't know lakini hiyo kiburi alikuwa anaona ya kwamba mimi nilizaliwa nishi Kenya miaka yote na goja katika jina la Yesu kabla ni ingia ndege nitaenda kwake jioni nimwambie ninaenda hiyo America Ajue kuna ye Mungu ambaye anabadilisha hali. Haleluya. Amenidharau kwa kuniona tu manake amefika. Naomba Mungu katika jina la Yesu awape neema ya kunyamazisha wale wanaoonanga hamwezi fika. Lakini kabla hiyo neema ikuje, inua mroho yako, elekeza ombi lako ambalo haliwezi sikizwa na wanadamu, lielekeze kwa Mungu waishie milele. Ha. Rip open together with me in the book of Judges chapter 11 verse 1 and 2. Atakuleta mwanamke mwingine aliyedharauliwa hata hakuonekana wa maana. Hata hakuonekana lakini ngoja obi aliyokuwa anatoa kimoyo moyo. Wacha hii tunazamanga riba shakarama mama mama. Haleluya. Wacha hiyo kuna ombi nyingine very powerful. Na hiyo ndio ombi naomba ya kwamba every day who is in our midst or every man who is in our midst anyakue apate hiyo ombi. Ombi ya maro hata kama maneno haitoki it is a constant uh, ombi ya maro linaendelea linadumu lina liko leo na kesho na kesho kutwa. Halikuishi haleluya wala hadizimiki uh, judges 11 verse 1 and 2 and Gideon's wife bore him a sons and his wife's son grew up and they thrust out Jephthah and said unto him thou shall not inherit uh, in our father's house for thou art the son of a strange woman go to the other verse aha uh -huh. Then Jephthah fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tob and there were gathered vain men to Jephthah and went out with him. Wacha tuachi hapo. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Now the Bible is very clear. Mtu ambaye anaitwa Jephthah alizaliwa kizungu yangu ya Kinjem zinasema a strange woman. Ingine inasemanga a harot. Alizaliwa na mwanamke hakuwa ameolewa kabla aolewe. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba mamake alipoolewa Gilead alidharauliwa huyo mtoto alidharauliwa. Let me tell you. Hauwezi dharau mtoto wa mama na uniambie unapenda mama. Is somebody together with me? Kuna mtu ambaye tunaelewana kama unanielewa nifanyie mkono hivi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. You cannot tell me ninapenda huyu mwanamke lakini mtoto wake simpendi. Maana especially mama ambaye amezalia kwao amekuwa ame, ame amezaa ame out of wedlock ukitaka kuumiza huyo mama guza watoto wake uki hey, kuna mtu anayenielewa ukiguza mtoto wake unamaanisha umeguza maisha yake nao huyo mama ako hapo na bibi imesema ya kwamba mtoto wake manake ni wa kuolewa naye walizgine walipozaliwa na ule mama bibi anasema kwamba hao vijana wakakuwa wakubwa wakamwangalia wakamwambia wewe haukuzaliwa pamoja nasi mamako mlikuja naye na kwa hivyo <coughs> na kwa hivyo tutakufukuza na utoke hapa nataka uone mama ambaye amebaki nyumbani amezaa watoto wengine 
wamefukuza huu mkubwa hajui atoroke na huyo mkubwa ah maana ako na watoto wengine ako in dilemma hajui afanyeje if you put yourself in that situation utaona mama aliyekuwa na uchungu mwingi moyoni geuke mwenzako mwambie ni waigua eh hey, talk to anybody mwambie ni waigua hata kama hajui hiyo kizungu amen ako na uchungu maana mahali the situation ako nayo mtoto huyu wa kwanza ni kipenzi chake na tena alimzaa out sasa amebarikiwa na wengine na wameinuka wakamfukuza i'm still talking about kwa mtu ambaye kwa situation fulani zimefanya udharauliwe na sio wewe uliata hizo situation in your life am i communicating to somebody hallelujah situation imekuforce sio wewe umejileta kwa hapo lakini imekuforce wengine wa kudharau bibi anasema ya kwamba ukijana alipodharauliwa wakamtupa wakamweka nje mahali alipoenenda akakuta vijana wengine ambao they were very useless but out of them aka create something ninaomba Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo akusaidie mahali popote umedharauliwa na roho yako iko chini ninaomba Mungu akusaidie badala ya kuona kudharauliwa uone kile ulicho nacho ha, Mungu hajakumaliza hata kama amekunyima hiki hajakunyima vitu vyote am i speaking to someone hajakunyima vitu vyote unaweza kuwa uko na shida ya macho lakini uko na mdomo wa kumusifu bwana vizuri unaweza kuwa yani wewe haukusoma lakini kazi ya mikono unaiweza haleluya unaweza kuwa ni kweli hauwezi haujui kutembea lakini ukikaa chini kuna kitu unaweza fanya na kileta mazao sida yetu ni ile kuona tumeisha kijana akaona ametolewa kwao sasa aende wapi huyu hata afadhali mwenzake alienda kwa anuko yake Laban Yakobo lakini huyu sasa hata hakuna mahali pa kwenda bibi anasema kwamba he became a stranger alizaliwa na strange woman he becomes a stranger akaenda lakini mahali alipoenda akakuta vijana wengine and out of them he created an army akafanyika kama ndiye kiongozi wao no wale walio mchukia the bible says the amonites wakaja kuwapiga walipokuja kuwapiga kume kuna mama aliachwa nyumbani na aliona mtoto wake nataka kuelekeza watu ambao even if the bible doesn't say they prayed i believe there is a silent prayer in those people and that silent prayer prayer dio iliguza mungu bwana yesu na apewe sifa huyu mama mtoto wake amefukuzwa na nataka kumuona akiwa ameachwa nyumbani i'm sure hana amani mwana ni agosho hana amani maana mtoto wake ako ametupwa nje na amenenda na amebaki na wengine lakini ombi yule mama alipoachwa naamini ombi la moyo wake lilimguza Mungu haleluya never give up to pray for your children never give up to pray for those situations ambazo ulijipata nazo na si kwa kupenda na hata zile ulijipata nazo maana ulijiweka ndani kuna ye Mungu ambaye huwa ana, anapeana neema. Kuna ye Mungu ambaye huwa anarejesha. Kuna ye Mungu ambaye huwa analipa kile kimekuliwa na kimekuliwa na wadudu. Kuna ye Mungu ambaye anapeana second chance in life. Hallelujah. The Bible says this son alipoenda Mungu akasababisha kule kule na vita. Na vita ilipotokea wakaja kwake wakamwambia Jephtha, tunakuomba urudi nyumbani na ukirudi nyumbani tunaomba utupeleke pamoja nasi tukapigana na maadui zetu. Na Jephtha hakupoteza wakati, akauliza na wauliza, nikirudi maana mlinifukuza na mkanikataa. Jabu la kwanza, mtukubali mimi ni kuyo kiongozi wenu. Wakasema dio, na nena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na nena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baada ya kushukishwa na kudharauliwa. Huyu Mungu ambaye hujibu maombi ambayo huwa yanatoka moyoni, akijibu utainuka kuliko wale walio kudharau. Hey after this conference kuna watu the next conference watakuja hapa na ushuhuda ya kwamba God turned things out Mungu alibadilisha hali katika jina la Yesu Kristo We were very useless lakini Mungu akatufanya useful in their lives Hallelujah Kuna watu hapa watakuja na uta, you be a witness with me Kuna watu watakuja hapa wasema kwamba pastor Mungu alifungua mlango wa kazi Mimi sijasoma lakini mahali nipo kwetu nyumbani kuna jamaa anaitwa Simka tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye na alifika class 2 and still you watch my time alifika class 2 na Simka class 2 pesa ikakosekana hakusoma na Simka maisha yake ikakuwa hivyo useless hapa na pale hapa na pale na mwaka wa ya 2000 nikaenda kutembelea Simka maana tulikuwa marafiki nikaenda nikamtembelea tulipomaliza shule 
nikaenda kwake nikamtembelea tukaongea na tukaongea mambo ya Mungu na simka akaokoka alikuwa anaishi hapa hapa Benrus simka akaokoka baada ya kuokoka simka Mungu amembariki kiasi lakini hajasoma akarudi nyumbani na akavugua biashara na sasa tukao au shirika simka every time tukiongea vijana wagiogea tu vizu kizungu na waongea Kiswahili ile inaitwa mfuti ile swafi ili ya kwamba simka ashindwe kwa communicate maana yake hata kujieleza kwa Kiswahili ilikuwa shida every time tukiongea we knew simka ataongea kikuyu wengine tukishuhudia kwa Kiswahili ama kizungu simka agezimama tu agoja ni nani ata interpret kwa sababu anaongeaga tu kikuyu hajui kizungu na hiyo ikawa ni jambo linamvuja moyo mpaka saade hakuji na namwe Hello. Yeah. Namwendea nyumbani na murudisha kwa kanisa. Anaambia mchungaji una sio mchungaji by that was a brother. Brother unaona sasa nikija kanisani nyinyi wote mnaongea kwa kizungu na na mara nyingine mnaongea Kiswahili nikiongea kikuyu mnanicheka. Hata wasichana wananicheka. Sasa nimefika umri ya kuoa, hakuna msichana ananitaka kwa sababu anajua simka anajuanga tu kikuyu tupu. And one day nikamwambia simka naomba Mungu akusaidie. Akusaidie to the level badala ya kuona hiyo weakness ya kwamba haukusoma ufanye uombe Mungu aigeuze aifanye your strength and i tell you as we are talking right now ukienda shopping center za kwetu nyumbani simka ndiye kwa na grocery na duka sijui na hardware the man is rich jamaa amebarikiwa point number 2 ukienda kanisani mwetu mwa nyumbani simka ndiye huwa ana interpretia hata wazungu wakija kanisani kunaye Mungu ah kunaye Mungu usianza usiachilie hiyo hali yako ya kudharauliwa or situation ulizaliwa nayo ama ili kupata on your life na sio wewe ulisababisha usiru usu ikumalize acha Mungu aitumie maana kwa udhaifu wetu nguvu zake huwa zinadhihirika appreciate god with a crop of rain hallelujah huyo ndiye Mungu namletea Jephtha he became again the king leader or the, or the key leader wa kwa nyumbani why because somewhere there was a prayer kuna mama ambaye yako hapa labda na watoto wake wameregea wametoka kuwajia wameteguka unaangalia unasema kwamba huyo huyo atasiona life yake afadhali huyu second born ama third born maana yake huyo wa kwanza sioni kama ako na akili sioni huyo hapana hapana sema hivyo hata kama unaona masomo haikumuingia hata kama unaona akili zake huwa zinaenda slow. Kunaye Mungu aliyemuumba. Aha, naongelesha mtu. Kunaye Mungu aliyemuumba. Na sio wewe ulifanya akili zake ziendage slow. Mupatiane, wewe mama patiana yeye kwa Mungu. Keep on praying hata kama wengine wanamtenga. Keep on praying, keep on interceding for that person. I tell you one of the fine days he shall become what God intended of him to become in his own life. Are we for us fight ourselves? Siata wengine wanasemanga hivyo. Nakumbuka wakati mimi ndipo tahiriwa wale wanajua kikuyu huwa tunahiriwa tukiwa crazy. Mamangu ali tulikuwa tunafungiwa kanyumba hivi unapewa chakula ni kama kitu kingine inaletwa chakula asubuhi na si mkate si mkate ina kabruba ni chakula unaletoa chapati ina asubuhi na hey Mungu Mungu saidia. Unaletoa chakula ile inaenda chakula. Lunch saa ile ndio hiyo chakula au pewe nafasi ya kupomua jioni sasa mamangu had a very big hope ya kwamba mimi nitanona nitatokea kimto kikubwa maana yake nilikuwa na kamu ili kanatoshana tu sasa unaweza niangalia venye nilivyo saa hii nimenona sasa by that time nilikuwa kamu ili kanatoshana hivi hata nikitebea hivi nimesimama hivi unasikia mamangu anauliza huyu ameangalia kwa hiyo ameangalia maana yake haujui nimeangalia saidi hii ama nimeangalia ile saidi maana yake huku na huku nyuma yote ni straight nimepigwa pasi nao mamangu amepea na chakula niletee sasa kuna ile siku tunasemanga mdanya wa kuumira siku ya kutokea unatokea kwa mlango alafu mama amejificha pale kidogo hivi najua hatukua tunafaa atuone kwa hivyo amejificha pale hivi kwa mlango anione nikitembea one haraka au kijana yake imekula woi nilipotokea tumiguni tule tule ni kwa upe tumefanyika tu kwa tu upe kidogo maana yake nimefugiwa kwa giza ni tule tule Kauso ni kale kwanza kameharibu maana nywele imekuwa kubwa sasa sasa unajua nywele huonekana mtu amekonda ni nywele ni kubwa nilipotokea hivyo ndio ngai hata mahali alikuwa amejificha akajificha ngai akaji oi oi onange ikiwa mavuta ine huyu hata akiogopa mafuta nimeona hawezi nona 
Lakini nataka kukuambia kunaye Mungu juu mbinguni. Hata mama ameona siwezi naona. Na nikaanza na nikasikia imepiga duru. Nao nilipotokea serious sasa niko mwanaume na nitembeza huko nje. Na kuna vinye kaujinga kidogo kana nishika na tabia nimefanya ma, ma, mikono hivi. Maana nafikia kama nime nimeongeza. Na yenyewe huko ndani nimenonea ndani. Na tabia hivi mama yangu ananiambia fika kutidoke hapa. Usijaribu kuji kujinua hivi. Wewe hata ukiweka kwa mafuta hauwezi naona. Na yenye hata mimi nikaamini hivyo na nikakaa kutoka hiyo miaka na huko nights nikakaa nikifuga turoza yangu ilikuwa kitu 24 size hapa 24 nikakaa nayo hivyo mwaka 2000 ndio niliona nimeogeza sana ikakuja 29 nikakaa nikakaa mpaka juzi ndio nilitoka 29 baada ya kuoa nikasonga soka kidogo sasa niko na tadhiri na ninaona nimesonga sana Nilienda nilipo nikamwambia mamangu ah, siku hizi mama zivariagi 24 somebody say amen nimeongeza nataka kusema namna gani kunaye Mungu ambaye anaangalia anga vyenye watu wanaandika historia yako mamangu aliangalia kaona hii itamalizia hivyo na akaweka complete ya kwamba huyu hata wai naona lakini saa hii siko 24 niko 34 at least nimeongeza 10 na namshukuru Mungu hata kama siongezei zaidi ya hapo i'm proud the way i am hallelujah uh, another day we went with my friend akaniambia nimpeleke mahali na tukaenda pale gong road tukaenda tukaingia kwa gym akaniambia ah mchukaji ingia pamoja nami hapa ndio nakujaga gym nikamwambia sasa mimi i haven't registered akaniambia pana nitakulipia ingia hapa na tukakalia ile kitu ya unaanza mtu ameshika hivi na anaanza kufanya hivi wacha yangu niiweke speed nikafinya speed inaenda hivi na yeye yake anatembea hivi nikutembea maana yake hawezi sasa akaniambia basa si Simu ya Mola shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya hii yenu. Na sasa hiyo namwambia wewe ungejua mamangu aliweka yangu full stop ya kwamba sitawahi ongezea. Na mimi nimeongezea siku ya leo. Huyo Mungu anayeongezea hata ukimuomba areduce, anaweza reduce. Si ni kweli wapendwa. Nikamwambia naomba unisikize. Usinione vyenye nilivyo. Mimi mwenyewe nimengangania miaka yote nikuwe kama wewe. Mpaka ile wakati nilirun ku appreciate myself the way I am. Na kujua kwamba kusudi la Mungu haikuwa nitoshane hivyo, ilikuwa ni kuwe naweza funga, naweza omba, naweza tebea kwa ajili ya falme wa Mungu. I am the way I am because of God. Hallelujah. Hata mimi ningependa sana diwe Black Thor. Inaiona na nani? Thor Bracken. Oh dark thank you dark toren beautiful hard sam nikitamani sana nikuwe mrefu lakini Mungu akaangalia kaona huyu akikuwa mrefu kama Reverend Dekai ufalme wangu na yeye itakuwa kara akaniweka vyenye nilivyo Jephtha ametoroshwa lakini kunaye Mungu ambaye anamrejesha and by the time he is coming back he is coming back as a king na nenea wewe ambaye unaona umeteremka ni kama Mungu hana nafasi nyingine by the time you will raise your faith in God by the time he will be bringing you back you will be somebody to bring praises into his holy name you are a chosen generation Hallelujah. Yes, I feel tempted to go to the third person and the last person and I think I'll be over from there. I'm still watching my time. Matthew 9 verse 20. Matthew 9 verse 20. Matthew 9 and verse 20. And behold, a woman which was deceased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched him of his garment for she said within herself if i may may but touch his garment i shall be made whole but jesus turned him about and when he saw her he said daughter be of good comfort thy faith has made thee whole and the woman was made whole from that hour somebody say amen i'm saying somebody say amen, amen. now zazigina na jomo mehubiriwa wakati kuingina wanawake ambao walikuwa very powerful mimi naongea wanawake ambao walikuwa very weak okay now here comes another woman the bible says humo na mke alikuwa amegojeka miaka 12 na amegojeka hiyo miaka akiwa na hiyo hali and issue of blood i know that you understand what i'm talking about When that issue ama hiyo nyakati huwa inakuja huwa hata nyinyi mwenyewe kuna ile karoho ka ku, 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 ku intimidate kujidunisha unakuta kwamba mtu amejirudisha nyuma one day uh, sometimes back to repair another day mahali ya hubiri and uh, 
tulipo mpaya ahubiri ikafika hiyo wakati unfortunately hiyo hali ikafika na kwa hivyo aliandika tu kanota kanambia mchungaji i will not make it to come na mimi nikatoa sheria nikamwambia you must come na yeye akaniambia i will not come na nikaona hii imekuwa serious nikamwambia i as your pastor nimesema you must come na yeye akaniambia pastor i declare for the word declare i will not come na nikajua nimepoteza mshirika manake si unaona hiyo mvurutano tutaonana aje kwa macho kwa madhabahu ikajua basi hii mali tumefikishana imefika mwisho nikamwambia god bless you na nikaudhika nikaenda na ilikuwa kabisa kabisa ni yeye alikuwa hudumu basi nikaenda na hasira zangu na nikahudumu na baadaye nikamkuja nikamuuliza bona maana kesi kwa natosheka ningo nataka nione hata kama nimepoteza mshirika apote nikijua tumekosania nini nikaenda nikamuuliza kanambia mchungaji uh, kuna hali ili nikamwambia kuna hali hapa Mia ya pasta lazima uoge roho yako niambie ni nini ndipo mwisho mwisho hata amezunguka pale pasta elewa try tu elewa sisi ni gumu sana si kebeza namuuliza ni nini hii unashida ukizungukia huko umeaguka hapana pasta sitaaguka nimesimama ndani ya Yesu ulitadiko na mume hapana pasta try tu understand si kebeza na sidwa ni nini kumbe ni hiyo hali tu inafanya ajira yao hata kujieleza ni shida mwisho mwisho tumesubuana kaniambia basi pasta naona ulikana ya gana ile kikuya nyumbani pasta ni hiyo hali ilifika kama hiyo limefanya hiyo masaa yote hao na tunaso tulikuwa shule tulisoma madhiri period tukasoma visa nda tukasoma mpaka mizungu zingine hiyo tu si ungesema tu ni hiyo ananiambia pasta unajua hiyo hali ikifika basi mtu anasikiaga ameisha kuvu na anaisha anaona ni kama watu wote wanajua anaona ni kama watu wote wataelewa anaona amejidharau hawezi nenda mbele za watu nikamwambia naomba unisikize zamani ilikuwa hivyo lakini siku hizi kwa sababu ya sanitary na mambo mazuri yametokea unaweza tembea na mtu akose kuja kana hiyo amen tumebarikiwa tumesoma tena tume tuko na kila kitu hii we have all that we need hata mtu anaweza tembea na hudumu na muinue Mungu tena kwa sifa na ukose kuja usijidharau kwa hali ambayo haukujiletea Mungu anajua sababu ya wewe kuipitia nao here comes a woman <coughs> Ni wale wanaitwa irregular ama ni regular I don't know lakini yake ikiwa regular it decided somehow le malaka bibi anasema kwamba for two years meaning labda bele ilikuwa regular ikafika mahali ikakuwa irregular na unisuliza nilisomea wapi ninaelewa maneno kidogo kidogo ikakuwa irregular sasa na hii irregular ikakuwa sasa irregularity imezidi hii ya kwamba inakwisha badala ifike kama ni wale wa 21 21 days kama wale wa 30 days ni 30 now hii yake imekuwa ni continuous sio that days that one imeenda carry that that two that three that four that eight six seven two ime continue hivyo mpaka sasa hahesabu siku anahesabu miaka nao watu wote kijiji wameji unajua kuna situation ambayo inakuja kama mpaka unaanza kuogelesha watu hadi oh somebody listening to me unajikuta kwa hali mpaka unaanza kuogelesha watu unaambia mmoja haya na by the way unajua na hapa mgogo kuna kitu kameanza kufura huyo ni mtu mmoja ameambia unasonga soga mpaka una, unaona kama inuka ni kama watu wanajua unajaribu kujaribia majacket unafika mahali unasema hey watu unajua mimi na hapa nilifanya nini nilifura mgogo sasa kila mmoja anajua now here comes this lady ambao kila mmoja anajua kijiji mzima i don't know how lakini kijiji mzima walijua manake labda those days hakukua na those sanitaries kwa hivyo akitebea kuna hali ambayo haikai hali. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba watu wote walikuwa wanamuelewa hali yake. Now comes Jesus in that city. Yesu ametembea hiyo hali na mwanamke amekuwa na ombi ningeomba hii jambo likwishe. Na akasikia Yesu ako na hapo mbele. Biblia inasema ya kwamba huyu mwanamke jambo la kwanza akaelewa ya kwamba ni sheria ya Wayahudi wale ambao mmesoma ni sheria ya Wayahudi wanaume wakiwa bele mahali popote hakuna mwanamke anafaa kuwa katikati yao tupigie bwana Yesu makofi tumekoporewa oy atilio mwanamke anahudumu kwa madhabahu maam na vile vile tumekaa na wao huku tunafaa kushukuru Mungu sana haleluya those days kuna vitu ambavyo havikuwa vya maana kitu ya kwanza mzee yalikuwa wa maana peke yake Aliona kuta soma Biblia yako vizuri hata Yesu alisoma alitumia sheria alifuata alisomea ali, ali, sheria na alikuja na hiyo sheria ya Wayahudi Biblia inasema kwamba akalisha wanaume 1000 akalisha wanaume 
Hakuna mahali bibi anaamalika watoto. Na watoto ndio wanakuaga wengi na wamama ndio wanakuanga wengi. Nao, kwa sababu gani? Sheria ya Wayahudi ni kwamba wanaume hata Waislamu mna waonanga huwa hawaabudu, hawaedi kusali pamoja na wake zao ati mwanamke hapa na mwanaume hapa. Wanawake ni wakae huko. Wanaume ndio wanasali peke yao. Nao, wanaume walikuwa wanakaa mbele, wana, wanawake na watoto wanakaa huko bali bali sana. Kuna vitu ambavyo kwa wana, kwa Wayahudi zilikuwa zinawekwa bali moja ni wanawake ya pili ni watoto na ya tatu ni mbwa hizo vitu zilikuwa zinakuwa classified mahali mahali pamoja na waina as a stranger wanawekwa mahali pamoja mwanaume ndiye alikuwa kila kitu nao bibi anasema ya kwamba wanaume kama ilivyo kawaida wakazunguka Yesu naomba unisikize na walipomzunguka mwanamke akaangalia kaona one protocol ni kwamba mimi mwanamke zifai kufika pale Jambo la pili ni kuna situation ambayo hata nikikaribia watu wote watagudua manake kuna ile harufu ambayo huwa ina inanifinyilia. But the reason if I stay this way nikikaa hivi na Yesu ninamuona die ule nitakaa hivi miaka yangu permanent. Kile nitafanya I'll break the protocol. Kile nimekuwa nikiomba ya kwamba hii hali iniondokee niifanyie kazi wapende wasipende. Hallelujah. And the Bible says the lady made the first step. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you need the first step. Kuna mtu hapa anahitaji kukanyanga hatua. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hallelujah. Ukikaa tu kwa hiyo hali ya kujidharau, kuna wengine mama hata hawakujagi ibada. Muulize. Muulize bwana hakuja. Nikuhegesha. Ni, 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 Kuhegesha ka wapi? Mwisho mwisho utasikia amekwambia siku ana sadaka. Yaani sadaka ndio imezuilia uje ibada. Do we come to church kwa ipa sadaka ama tunakujaga wewe ni bibilia hujasoma si usome bibilia wale walio bebana mizigo mizito waambie waje kwangu nitawapumzisha tunakujaga na mioyo mizito tupumzishwe na Mungu si hatuti kwa sababu ya sadaka kana hii ya amen na sijasema ukose sadaka neno mbona liko wazi kuanzia paulo anapeana mwelekeo kwa kanisa kuanzia siku ya kwanza kila mtu akusanye kila atakachompea Mungu ili nikija kusije kukawa na mgawanyiko wa kuchanga changa kana hiyo amen arrange your arrange your offering from monday arrange your offering you cannot eat pizza on monday ukure kipiza kia 1700 on monday tuesday wednesday ukure hot dog mbwa hiyo moto hot dog unajua mbwa hot moto Mbwa, tell me tell your neighbor mbwa moto. Moto mbwa. Hot dog on Thursday ukule hii kina inaitwa na namna gani? Meat pie. On Friday ukule nini? Simunisaidie. Chicken na na chips. On Saturday ukule utaremsha zote na koko ile ya wanilita. Alafu Sunday unakosa ibada maana huko na sadaka. Wewe ni kama umeradiwa. Kuna shida mahali. Tell your neighbor huyo mtu ako na shida huyo. Huyo. You cannot Juzi nilienda church moja kuhubiri mama na nikabarikiwa sana. Wakati wa sadaka ulipofika niliona wa mama wamekuja mmoja kalete uga, mwingine akakuja na madizi. Hey, mwingine akakuja na kahurura. Unajua kahurura? Kanyolia ili akupoda mokimo. Mimi nikaanga nikasema kai church na ina kuaga na confusion namna gani. Alafu nikauliza pastor, "Hey, bwana wana kidogo bwana pastor wanalete. Kana hapa pana huku huku sheria inakuanga ukikosa pesa kuja kile Mungu amekupa." sasa kile kilinigusa sana nikaona mama amekuja na kabakuli hivi kamewekwa hapo mchukaje kanaambia hiyo haikosi kuwa ni chakula hapa wanaletaga kile wameko na naomba Mungu atuinue naomba Mungu atuinue sijasema tuleta ugali hapa lakini naomba Mungu atuinue tuelewe ya kwamba it's not about what you are giving it's about the heart and what you are presenting before God and the reason why hallelujah now here comes the lady abaya biblia tumesoma nikiera kumalizia anaitwa huyo mwanamke akajua nitakanyanga hatua ya kwanza nayo ni ya imani ya kwamba hiyo ombi nimekuwa nayo hawa hawaelewi wanaonaga ugonjwa wangu ni permanent manake nimetibiwa na sijapona akakanyanga hatua ya kwanza bibi anasema ya kwamba alipokanyanga akapenya wale waliokuwa wanampinga wale waliokuwa wana guard security and protocol alipochukua hatua ya imani hawakumuona nasema hawakumuona Alienda mpaka kaguza maana kelengo lilikuwa moja aguze ombi lake lilikuwa tu amfikie Yesu akaenda kaguza pindo la nguo yake alipoguza Yesu kama ukiwaambia ah na kuna mtu amenuguza wakageuka wakasema hapana ni watu msogamano maana ke wanawake hawakuwa watu tell your neighbor haro tell your neighbor haro akabwa ni watu wamekuguza maana wanawake hawakuwa na hesabiwa kuwa watu lakini
lakini Yesu akasema hapana jambo la pili nimesikia kuna nguvu imenitoka alipogeuka akawa wakasaga ametokelezea wapi lakini Yesu alipomgeukia akamwambia shida yako ama uojoa wako umekuondokea you have been made whole i pray to god in the mighty name of jesus I knew a ombi dani mwako ambayo hautanyamaza hautanyamazishwa hautakomeshwa utasonga hadi hiyo jimbo lijibiwe Najambia silent prayer about hata kama watu hawaelewi Kuna vitu ambavyo vya ukiambia ya watu wenu huwa wanaipiga kama ile ya Josephu Kuna na hii maneno naomba Mungu atusaidie sana Unaenda unawaambia watu ah na mnikumbuke sana ah mtoto wangu ndio anafanya form form moja mumuombe wengine hawa hawaombi we wewe ndio ulimzaa wewe ndio ulimpeleka shule piga magoti obea yeye sisemi ya kwamba tusi complete uh, tusilete corporate prayers hapana lakini si watu wote ambao unaweza juzi niliona kwa kwa facebook mtu ameweka vizuri sana ati ana deliver akona akona mimba na ana deliver now na katika au be delivering is due on friday on a certain day na mtu mwingine hapo kwa comment akaandika vizuri sana you will never come out of labor ward and you know what somehow re, huyo dada hakutoboa. Why? Kwa sababu sio watu wote ambao unaweza abia maono yako. Imagine huyu mwanamke kama angeanza kuambia wanawake, "Eh, nimesikia Yesu ako Gedhurai na ninaenda nipenyee katikati ya waume, nifike hapo." Hata wanawake wangemwambia wewe utatandikiwa hapo. Utatandikiwa hapo na mawe. Hata wengine wangepigia waume wao simu, wawaambie uh, mume wangu, "Mama fulani ndiye huyo anakuja, amesema ataingilia katikati yenu, aende na mnamuchua vyenye anavyokuanga, hata wachafua hapo, atakuja mpaka, mama aliamua hapana, ni mimi na hili jambo lilikuishe." Ninaomba Mungu hapa akue kama hana. Aseme ni mimi na sitosheki na vitu dogo dogo hadi hili jambo la utasari niondoke. Nitabaki kwa madhabahu mpaka Mungu ajibu. Ninaomba Mungu akue mtu mtu hapa ainuliwe, akue kama huyo mama baya aliitwa Lea. Ambaye aliamua hata kama wengine hawanipendi, ombi langu nitaielekeza. Mungu aone nimechukiwa, ajibu maombi yangu. Kunaye Mungu anayeonaga wa mama ambao wamedharauliwa, wamedunishwa, hawahesabiki wa maana na anawageuza anawafanya watu wa dhamana na maana pigia bwana yesu makofi the bible is very clear as i word go back to first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 i don't know whether my time is over or not by fear i'm okay i'm right i'm good to go but you are a chosen do you have an niv but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation people belonging to god that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful right kwanza ukisha hapo now but you are a chosen generation listen to me Mungu aliyebariki Yakobo alikuwa anajua Yakobo akienda kwa Laban atapewa naomba mtu anisikize atapewa Lea na alikuwa anajua Lea hana macho mazuri na anachukiwa bas Mungu alimchagua Lea ndiye atakaye zaa mtoto wa kwanza wa mtu ambaye anaitwa Yakobo mimi nataka kunena nisemea kwamba vyenye ulivyo na hali ambayo umejikuta ndani mwake sio kwa kupendea kwako kunaye Mungu ambaye alikuwa anajua akikuumba hivyo mahali ambapo atakuja akutokeleze utukufu umrudie now you are a chosen generation wewe ni mtu ambaye amechaguliwa na Mungu hata kama hauna nywele kubwa hata kama miguu haitoshani hata kama haukusoma hata kama haupendi kwenu hata kama hauna mtoto hata kama wewe ni single mother you are chosen na biblia ndivyo inavyosema na biku ndivyo inavyosema sijali venye watakavyoongea sijali venye watakavyonena sijali venye wanavyoniona what i'm sure of is i am chosen hallelujah and that gives me strength ena priesthood mtu akutolea Mungu dhabihu a holy nation taifa ambalo ni safi haleluya sio ujirudishe kwa dhambi hapana ni utebere kwa haki na utakatifu because you are a chosen and you are a chosen to declare praise 
How do you declare praise when miracles happen? Praise is automatically. Hallelujah. Somebody and said me hivi katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mwalani agoso, huwa na miracle. I've been waiting upon God. David said in the book of Psalm that I've been waiting upon God. Nimekuwa na mgoja Mungu kwa subira. Naye akaninamishia sikio lake, akanitoa kwa matope, akaniweka kwa mwamba ulio juu yangu. When every miracle bao tunakuwa tunagoja imetendeka, we give God praise. I test my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa mama aliye mahali hapa, kwa dada aliye mahali hapa, kwa mwanaume aliye mahali hapa, usikome na usinyamaze, inua maombi yako ukijua kwamba umechaguliwa. Na Mungu alinichagua kijua sina mguu mzuri, lakini alinichagua. Ah, nilichaguliwa nikiwa sina macho mazuri, lakini tumbo langu litazaa. Hallelujah. Ninajua ya kwamba nilichaguliwa na Mungu akajua nitakuwa kama huyu mwanamke aliyekuwa mgojwa lakini baada ya miaka anajua mahali utukufu utatokea usive moyo usinyamaze usikwame na usisimame endelea kwa imani kama uwezi kibia fanya kutebea kama uwezi tebea fanya wokuruma haleluya tebea hadi ufike kwa baraka yako don't give up bwana nitaka siku mother dio si utaki kanisa kwani wao nitapo mother I'm asking a question. Who said you should be a single mother? Si Mungu anajua. Na ongeza mtu, si Mungu anajua. Si Mungu anajua. Na si dangi kanisa maana yake imeandikwa pale. Oh couples wa igirie kwa mlango, single mother wa igirie. No hakuna ng'a intimidation in church. Enda kwa church na uinua Mungu na umtukuza Mungu katikati ya miaka wanao kuitaga single mother kama kuna double mother watakuita tu. Wewe goja wakati wako ufike. Haleluya. Mimi naogopanga kusimama nitokezee pale mbele wengine wakitokezea. Maana ninajuaga sina hiki sina kile. Hapana, hauna hiki, hauna kile. Lakini Mungu pia amekupea hiki na kile ukitumie na tume bring praises and to his holy name. Somebody appreciate God and stand up with your two feet in the presence of God. Give your neighbor high five muambie. Namwambia nini ni tatu ya neighbor? Mwambie let there be a prayer within your heart. Mwambie wacha kuwe na ombi ndani mwako. Ambayo hata kama watu hawaielewi kuna Mungu anayeelewa. Nataka kuombea hiyo situation sasa. Nataka kuombea hiyo hali katika jina la Kristo. Somebody inamisha uso wako na umwambie Bwana, ninaelekeza moyo wangu kwako maana nimetabua ulichagua <laughs> ulichagua venye nilivyo bwana uliona ninafaa kuwa mfupi venye nilivyo uliona bwana ninafaa kuwa na hii macho venye nilivyo uliona kwamba bwana nafaa kuwa venye haha venye nilivyo bwana uliona nafaa uinuliwe bwana na utukuzwe ninakushukuru sambo de kwanza appreciate the way you are before god mwambie bwana nakushukuru roho yangu na ikuinue jinsi ulivyo mkuu bwana roho yangu na ikuabudu ninakushukuru jehova hata kama sija soma ninakushukuru maana nimetabua leo kuna wengine waliokuwa na maudhaifu na wewe bwana uliwainua ninakushukuru Jehova hata kama sina kazi ni leo peke yake nimeona wamama waliokuwa na uchungu lakini bwana uliwainua nimeona wamama waliokuwa wanaonekana useless but you take their life mama ya Jedifa alizaa mtoto nje lakini bwana wa mabwana ulifanya huyo mtoto afanyike kama mfalme Jehovah ninajua mimi hata kama niliolewa nikiwa na watoto nimetabua leo hao watoto unaweza wainua na wafasa karabaga yanda la mashanda ya wafanyike baraka Jehovah naomba unisaidie yeye alikuwa anachukiwa anadharauliwa kwa sababu ya macho yake lakini ninajua haukufunga tupo lake leo baba nashukuru hata kama sina hiki na wala sina kile nina kushukuru nina kushukuru jehova nina kushukuru muomba wangu maana wewe bwana kuna kile umenibakishia anza kubugua mimba anza kubugua baraka anza kuninua nianza kuona kile umenipa shalala maya ndaraba rikara babo zekere baba bayanda yekara baba baba bayanda la mama yande Setele no likano sharababu ya mayandele 
Shekara na mama ya na rababo yante Thank you Jesus We worship your holy name Lord We give you praise Lord We give you honor Father Yuna mama ya nerele ya tururu bububu ya ntai Shata ya na muyandu kuwa kwa moyo wa kumshukuru Mungu na kutia nguvu nasema 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 Asante <laughs> Lord, Father, since yesterday, God, 
You have been nested unto our hearts, Lord. Yes. Lord, you have been nested unto us, Lord. Yes. Father, we give you glory. Yes. Our hearts are hungry. Lord, you are vassal of your word. Lord, you say that is only your word. Yes. Oh, God, that can give us the victory, Lord. Yes. Father, we hide ourselves, Lord. Yes. Lord, the mighty heart of God. And you know our Father. You are going to feed us today. You are going to do us good for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. We praise you, we honor your name. For in Jesus' name, we pray and we believe. Let us celebrate our God. Let us celebrate our Father.